Welcome back to the Good Boys with Toddy and Brett, Woo! featuring Sabrina Casada and Cooper. Hey, Yo. Yeah. Welcome, back. Yeah. welcome back to the Good Boys podcast. Awesome. <laughs> And now, a brief message from one of our sponsors, BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers a safe way to connect with professional counselors. If something is preventing you from achieving your goals or interfering with your happiness... As someone who struggles with anxiety, BetterHelp has been an incredible resource and is extremely convenient for me. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash goodboys. So you're on you're on tour. With, yeah, I was. Uh, I went on tour with Machine Gun Kelly and Jaden because oh, he was shit. he was opening for him, and oh, it was it was so fun. Like, but Sick. it was just like I didn't really like you know have a job on tour. I was just like going honestly just like for the shows and yeah. just to be and hang out with Jaden because like he wanted me to come on. You know, that's dope. That was like it's probably a great like a great experience. You know, like. And so I went, and it was just crazy, like, flying out there, you, like, land, like, there's, like, fans at the airport and everything, and just, like, and then just, like, you just go to the play, and, like, you're already at a show, and you're, like, watching them set up everything, yeah. and, like, the test runs, and, like, I mean, I really, like, love, like, the whole scenery, like, you just get to, like, see, like, the whole experience, you know? Yeah. Were you at Lala? Yeah, I was at Lala, too. Oh, I was on okay. stage at Lala. Really? At, at, like, the end of uh, Angels and Demons, and, like, that was... Wait, were you at the airport? Did I meet you at the airport like the morning after Lala? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. With uh, wait, so we met before. Yes, we met before. Whoa. I remember. I was. I was. We're just eating a crazy McDonald's. Uh, yes, we're eating McDonald's. <laughs> I was having sweet teen hash browns Dude, in the airport. It was like five a.m. and no one was talking. Yeah, it was really? just like after like everyone was like fucking is. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot, like from, it was last. Yeah, it was like really hot and there was four days of Lala and then yeah, yeah. and you were on the, mushrooms the day before, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. You know, I've t- I was telling you this, like, I don't drink, I don't, I don't yeah. do anything, but, um, we microdose shrooms, like, was that in May? For the first time. Yeah, it was in the, May. Yeah, I, th- I think so. So we would microdose shrooms, and I was a long hauler with COVID, so I had COVID in January, and never, my symptoms didn't go away, so yeah. I had brain fog and fatigue, and when I microdosed shrooms, it was the first time all my symptoms w- went away. Really? And, and that was really crazy. So then I did it one more time on July 4th. Yeah. I microdosed shrooms again. And then once again, all my symptoms went away. All this brain fog and fatigue that I'd had for months, like months and months yeah. and months. It was pretty crazy. It I wasn't haven't done bad. shrooms was in like, over like a year and a half. I've been, I've been yeah. clean off everything. It's, That's good. Yeah. Nice. I had a bad pass of like alcohol mm-hmm. and shit. I mean, alcohol and drugs. Not so sure alcohol, but like more so drugs. When I was nine, like mm-hmm. I had of 10 i had like a terrible fear of planes because like i was landing in greece in the plane which is like dun, and then landed yeah, on like an horrible. island like, ban- like bounce up and like the whole plane like tilted and i like you know scared the shit out of me and I, that, just, like, that just like made like a whole entire like irrational fear of planes now like i still yeah. have it so uh, like the doctor's like yeah you can like give him like xanax at 10 or like nine and no fucking way yeah so i was taking like and i was we were traveling a lot that year and i was uh-huh. taking xanax like twice a month at nine like Whoa. like four twi- two to four times a month at nine and that just like it just wired my brain so badly i started like doing drugs at like a, like 12 like vaping and i started smoking at 13 and stuff and then like 14 is when it got really bad with like the prescriptions and and everything yeah and 15 i like had an overdose and like um but they had an overdose and then got sent away to like wilderness therapy uh-huh. and uh, residential treatment therapy. If you know what that is, I mean, it's kind of cool, honestly. So I lived in the woods for a hundred days. Like I like two guys in the middle of the night came like into like my mom's room. Cause I was like in my mom's room watching SpongeBob uh-huh. and I didn't know what's happening. They just come in like six, five, huge as fuck. No like, way. <laughs> like pick what? me up like and drag my ass to Utah. And I'm like in the fucking back of the car, like, what's happening like freaking out you know i'm like 15 like that's gnarly and i just had a mental breakdown like i'm like where the fuck am i going they're like oh you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be you'll be back home in a month i'm like oh okay you know month like it's fine like i'll have to go to school for a month because it's just like end of summer and i get there to like the wilderness program they drive me like two hours into like the forest i'm like where the fuck am i and I, i like see like this fire and i see like 12 different kids and like six staff members and like 
got some got some here is and then um the first day like i get like a mentor like a kid who uh-huh. gets like you know learn whatever and he's like so how long did they um tell you you're gonna be here for i'm like yeah um, about a month and he's like that's a lie you're gonna be here for a minimum three months and then you're gonna go somewhere after for about a year and right when i heard that i was like shut the fuck up man like you're lying oh my <laughs> he god he wasn't lying i that literally happened i mean it was it was like honestly it helped a lot like i honestly yeah. learned how to be in tune with my emotions and and all that like my emotional intelligence is honestly i i'd say really good for a 19 year old just because like for a a year and a half I was like stuffed with like therapy you right. know what I mean and but also it did it was also really bad to like the wilderness was cool but the other program the aftercare was just like terrible like, in what way well, it was so corrupt like they didn't care about like you they care about like the money is more so a business rather than like therapy yeah. and stuff and there was also like a lot of fucked up things happening there like people doing drugs and stuff and like and then, like the mentors were like, like the staff members were like there to they're like there to like help us and stuff. But they would like, they would know the people were doing shit and they would wouldn't say anything like because they wanted to save they, their jobs. And like obviously it's like you go there for help, but like yeah, yeah, I just it, yeah. it, it like fully like the wilderness program like helped me, you know. Like uh-huh. I actually like was like like I want to like do better and stuff. And no, nah, it was like the aftercare program, like the residential treatment center is what they call it. Yeah. And that that place like fucked me up way more. Damn. And I, I came home and like I did more drugs than ever. No shit. And then like um, a year and a half ago almost, or about like a year and two months, like I like had like this is, it was like, I don't know, I was like 18. Because I'm 19. I'm about to turn 20 in June. But I just had this crazy week of like, you know, a bunch of drugs and all that. And I just, like, had this moment of clarity where I was just, like, it's just, like, really not, it's really not worth it anymore, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I've been doing this for, like, years now, and, like, it was, it was so bad. So I just, like, honestly, I just fully went, like, cold turkey. Like, nice. I just, like, stopped everything. Like, yeah. I was heavily, heavy on, like, Xanax, mm-hmm. cocaine, uh, opioids, and, like, ketamine. Wow. And I would be, like, going through, like, 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 one to, to three grams a night of, like, everything and then like like five bars and like, to like 10 i'm like it was really it was such a like i don't know man it was so bad it was just very and that's a young age to be going yeah. through that i just like i also just have a lot of you know childhood things too you know yeah and all yeah that. but you're able to yeah, like, like, go I'm cold a, turkey though yeah for, it's it pretty was tough. i because I, I had this like this like moment like, where yeah. i was like i finally like understood like, like some sort of perspective yeah, yeah. of why i need to stop you yeah. know like and if I, I couldn't do it for myself at the time like so i had to just do it for like my mom and dad totally and yeah. you sister. used to find that purpose and I, and I finally like realized like i need to like live to help others i to like get through it because like there's been many times at la parties like literally like where i'm like out and about and everyone i mean people have um offered me like coke recently and stuff i, I don't really um I'm just like nah, like, no, yeah. everyone's cool about it. Everyone's pretty cool about that. Yeah, but like, there's this one, there's this one kid. I'm not gonna say his name or anything, but like, he like wasn't sure if he like wanted to do cocaine or not. And like, the whole entire bathroom's doing it. It's like 12 people. Like, I'm, I'm like the only one who's like not. Nah, like, I don't want it. And I'm like, this is so stupid. And he's like, hey, I don't know if I want to do this. And I'm like, well, you obviously don't because like, you're questioning it. Yeah. So like, I just slapped it out of his hand. And then yeah. he was like, thank you so much. Like, I really <laughs> don't want to do it. I just wow. Like, oh man. Pressure. And I was like, I, like I was like, I'm so I'm glad. I yeah, uh, so you, it's more like success like right there. You help someone. Yeah, you help yeah, yeah. Feel, like it wasn't like I was like, oh, I saved like someone's life. No, yeah, like, totally. Oh, but like, maybe you did though. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you did. You know? And uh, yeah, no, LA, I, def- LA definitely needs more, but more like, people I'm, like that. Yeah. I've been. It's been like a long time since I've like touched any hard drugs. You know, it's good. that's great. Now, a brief message from our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers a safe way to connect with professional counselors. If something is preventing you from achieving your goals or interfering with your happiness, head over to betterhelp.com slash goodboys. That's G-O-O-D-B-O-Y-S. BetterHelp assesses your specific needs and matches you with your very own licensed professional therapist. In under 48 hours, you'll be connected with a private counselor who's available anytime you need to talk. This is not a crisis line. It's an affordable and confidential way to talk with someone who can help. You can schedule weekly sessions and receive thoughtful personal responses. 
No uncomfortable waiting rooms, and it's more affordable than traditional office counseling and financial aid is available. As someone who has struggled with anxiety, BetterHelp has been an incredible resource and is extremely convenient for me. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash goodboys. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash goodboys. Thank you so much to BetterHelp. And now, back to the podcast. So how did you guys meet? Oh, this is a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just jump into it. Wait. Um, we haven't even really met yet, but. Oh, yeah. I DM'd you on Instagram, but it wasn't like... Uh, it was like a, hey, and I was I like, just hey, like, what's hi. up? And then he well, asked for my Snapchat yeah. or whatever. It's just like, like, <laughs> but that was like six months before we met. We literally never talked again. Yeah. Like that, oh, really? He added me on Snapchat. We never talked again. And then like I had a mutual friend. Like we both had a mutual friend. And I ended yeah. up coming to LA. Like I didn't live here or whatever. Like mm-hmm. it just came. And then he was around me all day. And that night there was like a party. He comes up to me. He's like, you're going to be my girlfriend. Damn, I'm going like, to use that line. I was like, like you're really kid. fucking weird. Like, get away from me. <laughs> and then two hours later, he's making out with a girl. I think we were, oh, we, were, we were at Bryce's house. That's funny. And then afterwards, you guys hung out? Like, Yeah, we just started. We, like, got burritos the next day. Yeah, really? He, he took me to get burritos. And they were, like, the best. It was the best burrito I've ever had. What and to somewhere? this day, we don't know where we yeah, got them. Oh, got shit. I have no idea where we got yeah. the burritos. But they were so good. You didn't care that he hooked up with another girl? We were friends. We, we just were friends. Like, like after that, we were just friends. I was, I was like, I was, okay, yeah, I'm not really, taking you seriously. I was really drunk that night too, and I was like, huh, we're gonna be boyfriend girlfriend. And, <laughs> and he was introducing me to every because I was new. Like I literally had just landed in LA. He's like introducing me to everyone. He's like, this is my girlfriend. Like this is my future girlfriend. Dude, and wow. I was like, you're you so sound crazy. Weird. Like get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like I'm psycho. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. It's exact- and like all our friends were like, y'all are gonna end up dating, and I was like, no. And then. We ended up dating. So damn, this is back in 20, 2020? 2019. 2019? No, no, yeah, 2020. Wasn't it? <laughs> no, 2020. End of 2019? Yeah, no, end of 2020. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I, I, on my mom's Because the first life. time I came to LA, oh, no, he's right, 2020, but it was like June. It wasn't end. Okay, yeah. He's like nervous that you were 17. <laughs> he's like no it's he's like 2020 it's like 2020 okay yeah. she okay. should yeah. be nervous yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. but that's funny <laughs> nice a cougar on her yeah, of course she's like, wait how old are you guys uh i'm 19. about to be 20 so you guys are both 19 okay yeah, yeah. that's not weird then <laughs> it's, it's a three first. month difference i'm like making it very it's not quick. bad three months so you're uh we did this yesterday i don't really know signs but you're not in aries but Aries, right? No, you're no. Pisces. Pisces. Oh, I'm a Pisces. Really? Wait, what's your birthday? Really? March 1st. I'm March 4th. I don't oh, know really? why. You want to do a joint <laughs> birthday a party? Oh, you're a cancer. Probably, I like cancer. Probably shouldn't really? do that yet, Brett. Wait till she... Yeah, I'm a little yeah. sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for someone to have a joint birthday party with. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let's run it. We'll go to... <laughs> we're at, he is actually turning 30 uh, soon. And no, I'm turning 29. Ba- <laughs> we're going to throw a mitzvah. If you guys want oh, yeah, to Oh, yeah, on my 30th. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so down. That'd be so fun. I mean, so it's a long story. Basically, he missed his bar mitzvah when he was a kid. And oh, it really? was pretty traumatizing. Right. And he of didn't. He, the only thing he wanted to do was be lifted in the chair. And uh-huh. he couldn't do that. So we're going to like throw a, a 30-year-old bar mitzvah. 13 mitzvah. going on 30, yeah. yeah and Next in, year. So this chair. 29th will not be the party. But okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. 30th. 30th. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be there next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. We have a year to like become really good friends. Of course. <laughs> and then you guys can lift me in the chair. In the chair. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Um, I'm from like I was born in Mexico, but oh, really? in Texas. Yeah. Oh, cool. We're in Texas. San Antonio. <coughs> Are you from I'm from New. Uh, I was born in Newport Beach. Oh shit! Yeah. Did you did you go to high school over there? I went to high school. Oh, high school. I went to J. Sarah. Oh, I went to J. Sarah. Then okay. I went to the um, like yeah. the boarding school and everything. Uh-huh. And then I went to Laguna Beach High School. Oh, okay. I live uh, residentially in Laguna. Right on. I'm from Huntington. Really? Oh, Edison, yeah. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. That's like what, like 20 minutes away from me. Yeah, I think so, something like that. That's yeah. crazy. I haven't been to Huntington in so long, but like the other week, I was driving back from Laguna. I just like drove all the way down to East Beach. It's a nice so, drive. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's so nice. It's a really nice drive. Yeah, Sabrina, you see my Cowboys thing? I don't know if you're a Cowboys <laughs> fan, but I've been a Cowboys fan this season. Really? Really? Yeah. I don't know if you are. Okay. I do not keep up on sports I don't as either. much. <laughs> I really it's, don't. It's 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 such a it's such a shitty thing to say, you know, because like everyone's like, no, not not like at all. It's almost like a waste. Of, it could be like a waste of time, but it can yeah. also be like therapeutic in, sen- in a yeah. sense. But then also you kind of like, 
you hate yourself because your team lost. So it's just like <laughs> it's, <a laughs> it's, really it's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like players and not teams more. Yeah, so. you don't want to get too attached. I yeah. used to just like watch baseball though. That's what that was on. I don't never, I never played football or anything. You know. Yeah, you want me to take so. your jacket? <laughs> It's like a little blanket, though. <laughs> yeah, it might be cold in here. No, it's fine. But so, did you know he lived in uh, my old house? What? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. The one in Studio City. Studio City. Off, off yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've literally off been there you so drive, many baby. times. That's right. so crazy. Yeah, I, I think I saw. I think it was Jaden because he posted in like my old room. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh yeah, that was, was your room. Like, yeah, yeah. Dude, that was. I have memories. Just for our, you know, our time. Yeah, Wait, so, so you, you know, in the hallway, there's the bathroom at the end of the hallway. Oh. <laughs> so there was this one night, and this was like when Ty was single. So already there was like four girls there who all were trying to figure out who was going to go home with Todd. Who was going home with Todd. Right. Who was going to go to Todd's room because we're already home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah who was going to stay? Who's not getting kicked out? And all of a sudden, <laughs> out of nowhere, like, we're like, where the fuck is Zane? Like, ev- everyone just kind of universally realizes no one had seen Zane yeah. in like maybe an hour, and he was blacked out. So everyone's, we're looking all over the house room, and no one can find him. And I think it was Todd was like, yo, I think he's locked in the bathroom, because the bathroom door is locked, no and no way. one could get in. So we're all trying to, like, knock on the door, and no one's answering. We're, we're freaking out. So all of a sudden, everyone's trying to get the door open, yeah. and Natalie just fucking comes out of nowhere. There's, like, ten of us in the hallway, and she fucking kicks her leg out and fucking knocks the door down. Dude, no I way. tried to, like, knock it down. Like, I, I, just, I, like, karate I kicked, the door. kicked that shit, huh? Yeah, couldn't get it open. She had, like, these big boots on. And she's wasted. And she's, like, just kicks it down like everyone celebrates Breaks the whole thing. and we see and we, and we we walk in and zane is like face he's on the toilet seat face in like his like crotch area just passed out <laughs> oh, dude it was naked. <laughs> naked yeah fully naked yeah it's fully, fully naked, fully naked. There's like, no like he was way. taking a dump he yeah. was like this. He, he, he passed out taking a dump and, but then everyone was like oh we were cheering them we're like oh <laughs> And he's like, what? And oh like, my god! We, 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 David, was that's so <laughs> fucking funny. Even the next day, he's like, "Do you guys see my penis?" <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's when Todd realized that Natalie was the one. Yeah. When she kicked the door down. Yeah, yeah. when she kicked it down. He was like, "Holy like, shit! Damn, she's the one right there." <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's like, fuck all these other girls. That's the one I want. <laughs> well, funny Alta View story. Did Did you guys still have the the painting in there? Of Which David's one? Face? No, no. Oh, I was covered no. up. Yeah, damn, um, it was not there when Painting. everyone moved in. There was a big giant mural, mural. <laughs> so I was out of town, and then Dave, J- I was listening with, living with Jason at the time. We were both out of town, mm-hmm. and David broke in and had someone paint a big mural of of his face. What? No, yeah. I never saw that. Yeah, no, and then actually, it was all just tan. But they should have just kept it. Yeah, right. Yeah, that that was, was no one, no one yeah. would have cared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was dope. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. A lot of people lived in that house. <laughs> oh, like really? people, I like would just see like every everyone time yeah. I could know, like someone new was living there. Yeah, yeah, that's so crazy. Damn, it went from you and Jason to Josh, Anthony, Jamie, like, and then it went from like, and then like, Keo, and then like, everyone moved out, and then it was like mm-hmm. Keo, and then like Jordan, Jordan, the yeah, one, the one who yeah. lives here now that I was telling you about earlier. Oh, cool. Uh, and I don't know who lives there now though. Yeah, so. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Just went through it. Farewell, one, dude. One time. Oh, I came home in an Uber, a Suburban, and it was late at night, and the guy went up the street, backed up to turn around, and backed straight into a, um, a mailbox. Yeah. Broke <laughs> his window, and he's like, he's like looking, and then he drove away. Yeah. And there was just glass everywhere. everywhere. And the next day, the neighbor's on, knocking on my oh, door. Man. Hey, so, I saw you. Like, it was yeah. just like, it was, it was a mess. Every single, this is like, we lived together. This is the only place I haven't gotten a complaint like about yet. You know what I mean? Just like. Because every night, like at Old Sway, like all the trailer houses, like that house, like it was just yeah havoc. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, living I'm with people, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Li- like especially living people. with most crazy motherfuckers ever. Would people just like party every night. Or? Yeah. Okay, for okay, Old Sway was like a six month bender. I'm not even kidding. It was really, worst, it was worst thing ever. Jesus. Like, so it was Quincy and Griggs living there. It was like Jaden, Josh, Anthony. Griffin, Keo. I don't know. I wasn't here for this period. Yeah, but like, I just hear I would, I would, I would like stay there like for like days on days and stuff because like we would just like do a bunch of shit together. <laughs> and, yeah, we're, like good friends. And then, like yeah. every night, I'm not even kidding. Bryce would invite over so many people, and it was a party every night. Ever like getting blacked out every night, and, like and like waking up and drinking white claws and like going through the day like 
I'm not even kidding. It was like the grossest thing ever. Jesus. Like, it was like a frat house on like crack. Yeah. Like, I was like, it was I'm not, it was like yeah. there was two towels in the whole house, never water. And I don't know why, like, <laughs> there's never any of this stuff because like, I, like, you just post me, it, but like, no one, no one did it. Like, no one cared to like, like, save themselves like people would be like walking around trying to find like a water bottle or everything and then like then see like a white comic and like drink the whole like drink it because like and i swear nuts. it was, it was so like funny. it's so nice yeah, oh but like God. every night i swear just like cause, like it was during like the beginning of covid uh -huh. and like i had just met Jaden like like early january of 2020 and like the way we like became good friends is like we smoked like a few blunts together and like just like vibed really like heavily together and like had a lot in common and stuff and like he just like asked me to come kick it and whatever but like yeah i don't know also it was just a very Sounds dark like dark area yeah. i still wear just yeah. a very dark area so like yeah. honestly we all reminisce about it but like we know like, it's just like not like a place like we all want to go back to like every story i hear of that era is just so like mind-boggling i'm like you did what so that did that make things like what it made it made things worse like sway oh yeah oh Whoa. yeah like i was like the worst that's like honestly i mean i just had so much like free time you know like everyone did and stuff and like it was just so like accessible at the time wow to like do and then, so what made you realize after that that you wanted to go sober like when, when was that moment that was uh, i'm pretty sure it was october 10th of 2020 20. yeah because i got sober like a week before i met like we started like talking together yeah like, talking and it was, <laughs> I well, like, that week was, like, so me and Jaden went to Vegas, and I had been sober for a month already, you know, because I, I, I just overdosed again. Okay. Because uh, I, yeah. And so I was clean, and I fucking go to Vegas, and I'm just chilling. You know, we're, he's finishing his album. We have, like, a studio there, and everything is vibes. Like, there's a pool. It's really nice. And I'm like, I'm pretty bored. Like, Jaden's like in LA because he had to go film Down Hall's five, Down, whatever. What's it called? MGK's the, short film, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. down, um, I can't pronounce it. Down, Watson. Down, downfall. Down, downfall of my life? No. No, down, down, downfall of it? my. No, Downfall, downfall high. Hills. Yeah, yeah. yeah down, downfall high. 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 Okay, yeah. And so I was like alone. And I'm like, I'm fucking bored. Like, I'm a, I'm a, and then I had some trail mix. This, this is so like <laughs> bullshit how this happened. Like, I'm so, I'm, it's so fucking ass. So I had some fucking trail mix that I just bought. And I was like, like, yummy. Like, I'm gonna I'm save this. I'm gonna <laughs> save this for later. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna chill in bed, you know? And I opened the drawer and I'm like, oh. and, I, and it's like, it's, a, it's cause it's like, um, it's like someone's house. I can't say who. I'll get sued, <laughs> honestly. And, <laughs> Uh, I open the drawer, yeah, in Vegas, and I get I open the drawer and I just see like these pills, and I'm like, oh fuck, this is like very familiar. And I may, and I look them up, and I'm like, oh, those are Valium's ten milligram. It's like another benzo. It's like Xanax. And so I just like, boom, like immediately I was like, oh fuck, like if I you know do this, like it's gonna be really really bad. And I'm like, okay, no. So I go, I like, I'm like, no. I look at it, I'm like, no, like you're strong at this. You're 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 good. Like you've been doing good a month. I go work out into the gym and cause there's a good gym there. And then I come back in like an hour later and I'm like, fuck. I like I like I like, oh. I'm not, I'm like fuck, because I'm still thinking about it. And then I'm like, I go to the bathroom to get a hairbrush. That's what it was. And I open it, the fucking cabinet, and I'm like, oh my god, there is literally a bottle, like a bus this big of just pills, like pill bottles and and, and like lean and everything like what the fuck? and I was like fuck and like that's when it all happened and, it, and it, like I relapsed is it I don't know it was just like a lot I guess I was all alone yeah it was a month right after it was in bad like bad place it was just like a whole entire thing and I had and like I, I went home because they sent me home my dad like came to Vegas picked me up and I and I got home and my parents like don't know what to do because like it's, it's been like years of this shit happening and I'm like and they're like over, I guess. Not like over it, but in the sense of like I don't, you know, care. But like I don't know what to do anymore because like they've already done any everything. And I get um back to Laguna Beach, and I fucking go and spend like four thousand dollars on drugs, and literally go back to L.A. and like do all of them, 
within like a six day period. Yeah. And on that sixth day, like my body was so like, I felt absent on the inside. Like there's like literally nothing there. Like my brain was so fried and everything. And like, Jesus. like the homie like invited this like random ass like girl over and like she just like kept spitting on these like fa- like facts and shit about life and like I was like fuck like you know like and then like he also invited so many other people like over and we're in this room and I was like really high off ketamine and cocaine and I'm like having a fucking panic attack because there's like 15 people in here and I'm like holy shit like what's happening like and I leave that room and I go downstairs to like the the living room and I see uh Baron um Baron show because he was like living there at the time and he like I'm like fucking screaming crying like because I'm just like what am I doing I'm like shaking like because I'm like freaking out like everything I've done like that week and like this is absurd like I don't even know how I'm like alive and like right now and like he helped me like brought me up to the room I literally just like told him everything he's like and then he like, talked to me and like fucking text my sister I'm like I don't I don't feel safe right now like like please pick me up and boom 15 minutes she's already at the like crib and she's like 30 minutes away she like went like 100 like to the hills like your, your sister yeah she like, picked wow. me yeah. up and like and since that day like i just I guess only, like went like cold turkey and just haven't touched wow. like any of that shit since so yeah yeah it was like a very big like it was like, like a moment in your life yeah like, like i know like now like hopefully i'll never like be in that situation again just because yeah yeah i feel so. like Cause I've like been like and I know like go to like I go to therapy too like so but like, cause I feel like when I was fifteen I got sent away like it wasn't like on my own choice like mm. you know what I mean so yeah. and now this now one was adult, my choice yeah. and like yeah. and like I have to figure my shit out I you know what I mean like so I'm doing my best now yeah that's I mean <laughs> it's like it's crazy you meet these people in your life that like you don't you have no idea who they are like you said your your friends like girl that he brought over right and she's yeah. talking about life kind of like makes you realize yeah, yeah, it's weird it has more to moments. it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it was always a sign to like sh- you know shit like it was actually crazy like the other day me and Jaden were like um we drove to like the lookout views like mm-hmm. on like Alta View like type area like in Studio City and I was like telling him like bro like I was just telling him like like just like you know sad shit like what you tell me your homies when you're emotional and like tell my life and like how like things that make you upset whatever like having like a moment and some random guy out of nowhere comes to up to us and like so from he's from London and just starts talking about how like amazing life is and like all this other shit. And I'm like <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> I'm like talking to Jaden, I'm like, bro, like, I'm like really like upset right now, like this blah 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 and then this guy comes over and he's like, You need gotta look at like talking about like life and like happiness and like and all this stuff. Yeah. And I'm like I'm like that's like has to be like a sign that yeah, like totally. you know what I mean? Like like out of nowhere, boom, like we're like there's literally three people there, like like it's me, Jane, like him, I mean, like that great guy, like two other people. Like I just ran, I don't even know anyone, and boom, like he just starts coming over to us and talking about like happiness and shit. And I'm like, that has to mean something, cause like I literally just like did like a little prayer like the day, like like the hour before, you know. Yeah. Like, it's probably not a coincidence that a week later you guys meet. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah, too, kind right? of it leads yeah. you to her. Yeah, exactly. All these yeah. like little like little events. That, that's yeah. so that's wild. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and where did you, did you know about any of this before when you guys met or I kind of knew like my friends, like all of our friends, like mutual friends, like obviously knew that he was struggling with it. So when I first like started hanging out with him, like I kind of knew, but you know, I never, it was like, I didn't feel like it was really any of my business. So I stayed out of it until we like actually started like talking regularly after I came to LA. Like that's when I, he kind of started telling me about it. And then when like the whole Vegas thing happened, like he w- just wouldn't answer his phone. And that's, yeah. like, when I was, like, okay, something's up. And, like, little yeah. did I know, he, like, relapsed. So then when I got back to L.A. and I, like, finally moved here, that's when I, like, started hanging out with him. And mm. I found everything out. Like, yeah. yeah. All of it. <laughs> but I want to put that, like, in, my p- in the past, you know? Like, move yeah. forward and, like, but obviously still grow every day, you know? Totally. But, you know, we were, I was actually talking about this with, with your manager earlier and, and amazing man and, uh, obviously and, um <laughs> we were talking about this earlier like it's a really important my amazing manager yeah yeah your amazing manager you know it is really important to to share these stories and i didn't realize that actually until we were filming an episode a few months back a couple months ago and i was talking about like i, I went sober not because i was like i, I had hit a rock bottom or was yeah. really struggling but in in the, in the normal sense, maybe what people think alcohol struggles are, but I was having like 
panic attacks and and r- like yeah. a lot of like anxiety mm-hmm. to the point where it's like affecting my personal life my professional life in, yeah. in a lot of ways and i didn't I, even like my my health like like i was just feeling sick all the time i couldn't sleep like it was coming out sideways in ways that i couldn't understand yeah right. and i was like oh i'm just gonna take a month off of drinking and that month led to now it's been it will be four, four years, years in a, four in a wow. month. That's nice. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Yeah, that's Great. Amazing. And it was t- it was tough too because you know like I d- thought oh like I loved like I I had just gone to Napa Valley with some friends and I was like yeah. I can't wait to do this again like that was such a fun experience to go wine tasting yeah, wine and tasting. and you know, little things like that like I was like oh man am I g- never gonna get to experience that again or like I loved like I loved partying I thought my party days were over like I got a dog and I was like. I guess I'll never party yeah. again. <laughs> he loves partying more than anyone. Now but he I just lo- doesn't. But he I, just goes get, sober. Really? But, yeah, so like I had to like find that. Chilling with that, like in the, yeah. be- was, in the beginning, was it hard? Like being sober around all your friends who weren't. It was. Like, it was like, like, impossible. Like, but I have like probably worse social anxiety than anybody. Yeah. But then once I found that place of clarity, where I'm yeah. like, wow, I can be self-aware. I can. I have my car. I can leave whenever I want. If yeah. at any point I feel anxious, at any point I feel like I'm not perceiving things the way I want to perceive them, or that. Um, you know, that the party's kind of taking a turn into a direction that, like, in my gut, I can actually listen to and doesn't feel right. Like, I can get in my car and go home. Yeah. yeah. And that was, like, a really important realization. I'm like, it's also kind of fun, like, once everyone kind of hits that point of being drunk, you're like, I can go home and go to bed. Now I get a full night's sleep. And yeah. when I wake up in the morning, like, 7 or 8 a.m., like, so great. everyone's yeah. hung over, and I'm like, yeah. like this yeah. idiot over yeah, here. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I, 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 my, my day started, I didn't realize until I was on uh, – like I spoke about it on a podcast and, and, and got feedback and comments and people being like, I'm like, I didn't like, they were like, thank you for telling that story. Cause, um, especially for men, I think in our society, it's yeah. really hard for them to talk about it and relate yeah, to honestly, it. And yeah. it's maybe a little taboo, but it, it's important for, for people like us to have that conversation. Cause, of course. cause these, there's people out there that need to hear it and need to know yeah. that like no, on the no. other side, there's like good relationships and success and good friendships and, 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 and a, there's like a there's a really great life on the and other side of it yeah. Yeah. such a level yeah. of clarity and that's so important and uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's like the first time you've gone in detail about it right i'd say publicly yeah yeah i think that's the first time <laughs> wow well thank that you for that already know the, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Part but again thank you for that no I of course it. i mean like it happens naturally man. yeah so yeah. i I just feel like yeah, I like talking. I like talking about it in like a therapy. Probably therapy. helps you too, and you're helping. Yeah, other people I mean, that, talking like, about yeah. it also just like you know gets like those feelings out of like the past, you know. What I mean? Yeah. Like and it's 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 nice to like tell people. And, and you can see how and, far you've come. Yeah, it's you know, like, like, see, like a progress, and also just like give hope to people who are like in, who were like in my yeah, situation totally, like, yeah. a year ago. You know, what I mean, like, because obviously when I was in that that you know state of mind, I was like, like I'm the like no one can understand like. Like, I'm just going to die. Like, there's no hope. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I don't know. I want to hopefully be that person that can guide in a way, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's Actually amazing. to find something to. That's, like, a great form of, like, you know, trying to, to uh, define success. Yeah. But you being successful and, like, helping other people. Yeah. And stuff like that. So, like. I always thought about being a therapist, you know what Yeah. I mean? Like, going to school and, like, working for that. Like, I might eventually. Like, Should, yeah. That, you know what I mean? Just, like. Yeah. Take some classes. You even do like public speaking or, yeah. or like workshops whatever, or yeah. whatever it is where you get the opportunity. Like, you don't have to change millions of lives at a time. You can yeah. change one life at yeah, a time, and you never know how yeah. that domino will fall and what, what, what yeah. comes of that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank cool. you. So you're far from home in Texas. Yeah. Do you, mi- do you miss far. it? Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I get really homesick, really? actually, yeah. yeah. Your parents are like, f- still there, right? Or my parents are actually in Florida now. Oh, Florida, okay. Yeah, so they live in Florida. I haven't been back to Texas in a while, actually. I just go to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, she Which was in th- Texas like a month ago with me. Oh, my God, Yeah, right. That's <laughs> the first time, like, in four mo- four years, though. Yeah, oh, really? right. Yeah, it's just, like, I haven't been back to San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah she's she's San Antonio. you moved out here mm-hmm. to L.A. Like, what was your final decision? Were your parents stoked? Or were they kind of nervous? Obviously, probably like, nervous. Yeah, how did you, like, how like, did you, what was the catalyst for coming yeah. here? And then um, you have a new boyfriend out here? or Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, okay, so basically I, like, came to visit twice before I, like, finally moved out here because I had just graduated high school. And you were posting on TikTok? Yeah, so okay, I was posting on TikTok and, like, I ended up, I think my like the end of my junior year started posting on TikTok and then 
I started like getting views, whatever. Like <laughs> it started all. It all started happening. At, at what point? Like how, um, how, how long in? Maybe like a month and a half. Like it kind of happened really fast. Whoa. Like at first I started posting them as a joke, yeah. and then like I posted one seriously, and it caught like two million views, which at the time was like so crazy. Was crazy. So yeah, this time, 2019 yeah. TikTok was so easy to blow up. Yeah, and I was I, like, I'm not even kidding. It was insane. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, crazy. Really? It, yes, it was like. Any, everyone was blowing up. No, yeah, I posted a video of me, at, me and my boys at prom, and it got like a million views. Damn, yeah. we were just sure? standing there. Me and my boys at prom. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, this shit. <laughs> it's so funny because everyone's like, "Holy shit!" At school, and I'm like, I'm like, hmm, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking take advantage of this. Looking to be shy, prom. Yeah, or, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, Whoa. I didn't even like. I didn't even try to take advantage of it. I was just like, "Oh, like that's cool," and then yeah. I did it again. It happened again and i was like i had an idea of what like social media was at the time Uh because like i would like obviously like i had like youtube like vine and all that shit back in the day you know what i mean so like i knew like what social media could bring you know i wasn't like aware to the extent but i was like you know what like i got this many views like i'm I'm gonna just keep like doing this you know yeah boom like it i guess it it worked i actually like i got like a community like two hundred thousand followers on tiktok on my own and the, the person who actually told me to, like, because then I quit. Like, I just, like, stopped posting for, like, months on months. Uh-huh. And then I, I met Jaden, and he literally told me to, like, start doing this shit. And, like, he, and, like, he was like, I'm going to help you. Like, that's, that's how I started making videos. That's Damn. wild. So you met him through, like, TikTok? Like, well, I met, I, or... like, came over Old Sway with, like, this, with, like a girl. Mm. Like, that got invited by one of them. And, <laughs> and, Old and, yeah, and then I, like, just, like, met him. So That's so, sick. Yeah, but that's how, how I got into it. Well, what what did your parents say when you told them that you were moving here? Well, my dad was really supportive because I was always like, I don't, I grew up like just like being like, oh, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna like be in movies and you're gonna see me in theater. Like when I was little, I would always say that. Did shit, he want so. you to go to college though, or no? Yeah, my family's very like school oriented. Like yeah, my yeah. older brother is so smart. He is a genius. Like, yeah. like literally Ivy League. Like just wow. he's such a genius. So, like, I had really high expectations growing up. Like, my sister is in med school. And my brother is in law school. Like, Damn. just got into Harvard. Like, literally, wow. like, they're Whoa. so smart. So, <laughs> so yeah. To talk. No, so, I was, like, the odd one out. I was the odd one out. And, like, when I told my dad, he was, like, okay, let's do it. Like, let's do it. Oh, that's awesome. And my mom was, like, no. Like, you're, that's not happening. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, okay, like, just give, me, just give me a chance. Like, I'll go to L.A. for a year. If it doesn't work out, I'll go to school. And if it does, like, I'll stay. Uh-huh. And then, um, and then <laughs> I, I came and it worked out. So now I'm just here. Nice. Yeah. My mom just, she's right? getting out. She, yeah. <laughs> she's so it's a scary thing. Like, you know, you coming across the country or, you know, yeah, yeah you go literally to LA too. It's like, you know, yeah. it's always yeah, like I'm like an hour way from home. I drive home to my parents like every weekend. Yeah. Me We're too. actually going tonight. So are you yeah, nice? Yeah. yeah. The risk for my, like me at least wasn't like that drastic. You know, mm-hmm. I just go home. I was still going to school. So, uh, but yeah, it's a lot different for you, um, obviously. So that's cool. Right. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was really cool. It was like such a like shock too when I got here because uh-huh. everything is so different here. Right. You got the sway house. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think I ever went to the sway house. Not. Um, I don't I'm think glad so. You <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I didn't either. I like don't. I just I don't want to see any of that. Mustville. Must. Literally. Must, really. Must. Jesus. So, did you live in a content house? Yeah, I lived in not a content house. Not what is it called? Not a content Notch. house. Yes, Notch? Yeah, I lived in Notch. Notch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. With like Anna and like uh-huh. Maddie Cynthia, Monroe. Maddie Monroe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. We, yeah, we, yeah we, we were just ha- we just had them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna and How, I lived in. Which your episode okay, cool. might come out before theirs. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. How was that? It was a content. Not a content. Oh house. well, I I mean I loved being a content house. Mm-hmm. So like the first round, like there was like two rounds of it. Like there was not a content house, uh-huh. the original one, and like. That was a disaster. Like, oh. not because of the girls, because of the management. Because yeah. it was just like, oh my gosh, there was like so much drama and like it was just, it was just a disaster. And then like we met Alana uh-huh. and she was just kind of like, okay, like you know, let's fix this. Yeah. And yeah. she did. Nice. Like she fixed it for a while, and then until we got, we all kind of got to a point where we were like. I don't know if like living together and like doing this is like the right thing for us because we loved being around each other, but it was really hard to like give because there was like you know deliverables and stuff we have to do for the house, and mm-hmm. then on top of that like our own stuff, and it just like got super overwhelming for all of us to the point where like we were all like okay yeah we can't do this yeah, anymore. Yeah. So now we're like 
we all, we see each other all the time, but the Although whole house thing. Yeah, we live so close to each other. Are you but making? No. Do you guys like, still make videos together? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. TikTok and mm-hmm. YouTube as well, or. I mean, we all have our own YouTube channels, and like sometimes yeah. we'll be in each other's. But like, back when it was the house, it was more of like a it was more of like a job to film with each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And now it's like fun. That's good. Yeah. You gotta have fun with it. You can't lose that. I know. Then it's just you, like, want, you, you want you want Todd in any of your videos? <laughs> I think <you> can. <laughs> I'm not very good at TikTok. So uh, like, the new TikToker. I was, I was just telling them I, t- I I posted a video of some guy pissing on the sidelines at a football game. That's how good i am at tiktok that's great you know, no, yeah. that's amazing yeah, it, was, it was pretty funny yeah <laughs> no <laughs> that's doing amazing <laughs> do you want to be a, an actor yes or in, yeah, yeah like director or act actress yeah nice. that's like my ultimate goal oh, yeah. like that's i really wanted to go to school for it uh-huh. for like musical theater but awesome. um i dropped out of school so <laughs> <laughs> do you sing like do musical that? theater huh you sing musical theater like i mean i really really like i really loved it when I was in high school and like I love to sing I love to act so I was like that's like a perfect mixture of both yeah but now that I'm here I just like it's really hard to do multiple things mm-hmm. and like be good at multiple things yeah it's like, like you really have to focus on totally one thing the 10,000 hour rule that's what I'm you like, gotta put everything in yeah it's yeah uh, what's your favorite musical um there's this one musical but it was called. It's called the last five years. I think it's really, really good. It, um, Anna Kendrick played. Oh, it, cool. There's there's a film about it, and it is so good. I, I right, might be cool. com- I might be completely butchering that. It's either the last five years or the last. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Oh, I mean, and that's amazing. amazing. It's like number one. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Um, that's funny. I when I was uh in in middle no high school, I was in a performance of Hair. Oh, that's oh my God. I went to I went to performing arts camp in no like way. in the Catskills, so cool. and it, I went for film. But then all of a sudden, like all these kids were doing like Broadway shows. Like it was a summer camp for like creatives, but right. a, like Broadway would actually recruit from this camp for like kids. That's and I was like, okay, like, and I got really in the musical theater while I was there. Like I was like, right, I'm gonna audition, but I can't sing. I am the worst singer in the world. <laughs> so I went up, and you have to like uh, audition in front of like a hundred kids Mm -hmm. and it's really hard to get roles in these performances because like and these kids like they spend like a week like practicing for their audition i just went up there and i winged it and in front of 100 people i went to the owner of the camp and i sang him uh don't trust me by 303 and it had just come out so people didn't really know the song so i was like shush girl (laughs) shut your lips do the helen keller and i was saying that to him and i was like black dress with the tights on and i did the whole (laughs) song instead of and everyone else did a broadway musical performance and i did that and i got a i got casted in hair no way. Like, that was so bold and kids mm-hmm. at camp were talking about it. And it's <laughs> no like, way. You know, I'm in fucking hair. And then um, so there were like a couple of kids who were in this performance that went on to like one kid went to Broadway. The other one, Max Schneider, who, you know, Max, mm-hmm. the artist. And like That's we ended up working crazy. together like 10 years later when we were in music. <laughs> it, it was so funny. My, my friend Alex That's went on to work with like Kanye West and shit. Like kids from this, this perf- like yeah. this little cast, we all like went on to stay in touch and do cool shit. <laughs> That's but that was, crazy. but it, uh, th- that's how I got into musical theater. Really. That is so it's, cool. It's so, so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. No, that's amazing. Literally. But my so favorite, cool. s- like songs from a musical is Sweeney Todd. I haven't seen that. It's yeah, so no. good. There's actually a Tim Burton movie with um, Johnny Depp. With Johnny Depp is really oh, good. Oh, you should I watch that. You should, like if you ever have an opportunity to see the musical, it's yeah. amazing. But the soundtrack, like the sc- the soundtrack is incredible. It's an older. older have you ever one. watched Les Mis? Yes, I actually it was a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't say that. That's definitely my yeah. favorite musical. Like Les, Mis- Les, Mis- Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Yes. Les Mis- <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. I've yeah. I told that. you to watch it with me. I just don't watch music. I don't know. I'm just like not into You'd like, like Book of Mormon. Like that's probably a good good one to get you in. Maybe. You like he soccer? just doesn't like he doesn't like watching stuff where they sing the whole time. Like we I try to get him <laughs> to watch um Tick Tick Boom. Mm. You know? Oh, cool. I haven't seen that yet. Is that that's what the Andrew? I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect though. Like so, that's fire. Yeah, but that's it's different. It's not like real, like a yeah. like a real. real yeah, musical. like t- like Tick Tick Boom's full on musical. Like, like he is literally like Andrew. it's it's amazing. <laughs> but Andrew Garfield's such a good actor. Yeah, he was so he was amazing. It's really good. It's really yeah. good. Okay, I gotta check. But he out. just like he can't sit through the whole. I like, can tell like it's gonna be good. Like, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, like yeah. musicals, but like I just I don't know. Like, yeah, he I wish I could. But it's really good. Okay, yeah, I should watch right, it. check that out. Yeah, he deserves. Yeah. He did. He's nominated, right? Andrew Garfield. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. For have Golden you Glow? seen the new Spider-Man? Academy Award. Academy. I have. I think Academy. I don't know. I have seen the new Spider-Man. I saw it. 
Have you? Yeah. I loved it. Oh, oh, wow. oh when he when he saved uh, Dude, Z- we, Zendaya. We, yeah. <laughs> MJ, MJ, that was crazy. Yeah. MJ. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was like, it was very touching. So I know. I was like, <laughs> so we went. <laughs> I teared up in the movie theater. We were all tearing up. We went to one of the first showings in LA. Really? Like one of our friends waited in line for like two hours. Yeah. We got 20, got like twenty tickets. Got twenty tickets, and then like a big group oh. of us went, and like we, we saw it in IMAX theater, so there was like a thousand people there. No way. And like every time there was like a little bit of a moment or a cameo or a cool thing like everyone, everyone was screaming yeah. was screaming was going, everyone was going crazy and we yeah, were like everyone's oh. like club <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like we were at a concert like, like you see Andrew Garfield coming through and then everyone's like yelling it's pretty loud but then all of a sudden you see fucking you like waiting for Peter to come through and mm-hmm. everyone was just screaming like, yeah you can hear the dialogue is, oh my. even like when the Jamie you Toby see Jamie Foxx and you see all the cameos of the villains yeah. like people are freaking out like mm-hmm. it was so fun yeah, it was a cool experience. It was, you know, such yeah. a good movie. That was, that was a great movie. Yeah. And then the end with like all like the characters like coming in like yeah, right. You see all like the shapes and everything. Yeah, that was so good. They should. I was like looking on TikTok and they're like, what if they made like a movie, but like, it didn't close up. Like imagine like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm really glad I saw. Through. Yeah, I'm. I'm really glad I saw the animation before seeing. The actual movie because I it made me understand the multiverse. Yeah. Yeah, the multiverse is hard yeah. to understand, but if you see the. The animation like explains the whole backstory of the yeah. multiverse. Have you seen I, it? He hasn't seen. No, I've seen that one. Uh, I mean, I'm like yeah. really, I'm I'm really into Marvel, and he like wasn't when I first met him. Yeah. So I like sat him down, and I was like, okay, we're gonna watch all the Spider-Man movies, and yeah. I made Aven- him watch all them. Every single thing, bro. Like, but I didn't, I yeah, didn't have him watch the multiverse. Yeah. So. Sp- Spidey into the multiverse is. I uh, watched that tonight. It's probably like. Oh my gosh! I don't know. Like maybe like second or third really? best. Really? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen that actually. I'll watch it with you. It, it's you, amazing. You, you want to watch it later? It's so yeah. like this weekend. It's so fun. So good. Okay, I gotta check that out. Cause I I wasn't into Marvel either. I just yeah. I like, like Spider Man, but now I'm like getting into Marvel just so I can watch like Civil War. Yeah. With, with Tom Holland and then the other one with Tom Holland as well. That Spider Man. Oh yeah, David um, made him a list. He's like, Todd, you have to watch every single <laughs> movie in this order. So he's like, it's like. Probably yeah, like there's so many so movies. So many, many, it's like crazy movies. You don't have to actually watch. No, all yeah, of yeah. That, I've seen like, a few, right? N- yeah. I really like, want to watch Civil War though. <laughs> and Endgame. Endgame is the one. Endgame. Endgame. Is Endgame. So good. I made him watch those. They were like. I like yeah, barely, 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 but even like I, I just like really watch like three Marvel movies before watching Endgame. I, I still cried. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> like, I'd be crying over the stupidest shit. Yeah, right. Uh, and only yeah. in movies though. Like anything movies in real life. Him. Like I, I can't. I don't know cry but like marvel movies, though, <laughs> I, i'd be crying yeah. so really, much really <laughs> that's so funny what so what are your like five in order five favorite marvel movies um you can go from like okay, okay well i'm gonna have to throw a lot of spider-man in there because i really really like spider-man that's but fire. okay do they have to be movies because i really really like wandavision Oh, you can throw that in there. WandaVision was great. so good, really and good. Hawkeye was amazing. I didn't see Hawkeye. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say Black Widow, like the one that just came out, because oh, that I one just so, it's so good. So it was good. so good. I'm just saying oh, that. Black oh Widow, the one that just God. it was so good, and especially because it's Scarlett Johansson's last movie. So like, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, it was so good. Ever? So, yeah, that's Where's her last Marvel? time being. Yeah. Yeah, she got killed. Well, I don't know oh, if yeah. she's done with. Well, yeah, I guess. She Maybe in like flashbacks. Movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's her last movie. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're just spoiling so much shit right now. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to go to I just, like, realized that. <laughs> <laughs> um, my bad. Spoiler if I really hasn't seen that. Like, I'm everyone's sorry. gonna be like, really? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, been yeah, out like, long enough. Spoiler. It's all right. <laughs> like, Spider-Man's <laughs> literally about to pass Avatar for the highest grossing movie of all time. Like, everyone can, like, relax. Like, if you haven't seen Spider-Man. If you haven't seen Spider-Man, like, it's been, like, a month. Then, like, you yeah. don't care. If you, if you don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not gonna see it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, WandaVision, Hawkeye was so good. I haven't watched Loki. Either I haven't seen Loki yet. I heard it was really good though. Yeah, I heard Loki. it was really good too. Yeah. I haven't watched it. Um okay, like I know everyone hates Andrew Garfield's movies, but nah. they were so good. No, 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 I love Come on, so Andrew Garfield. So yeah, yeah. Good. So like, one, or, would, one or two. Three, no, I know. It was so good. I two. love both of them. Two. Two. Okay, so say them again. What are the five? So okay, I'm gonna take Hawkeye out. So um WandaVision, the latest Black Widow. Um, multiverse. The second Andrew Garfield movie, so Amazing Spider-Man two and Endgame or Infinity War. I guess Infinity War. We'll, we'll give you a little bonus. You can tie for f- tie for fifth. <laughs> Endgame and Infinity War. Yeah. Okay. okay cool. That, those are the top five for me. Great I was never movies. really into Captain America. Yeah, same here. I love I love the Incredible <laughs> Hulk with uh. Mm-hmm. What, who's the actor? Um, from fucking Fight I know, Club. I know. Ed Norton. Ed Nor- 
Ed Norton. Well, he plays the Hulk. So the original, like, so oh. like it was like the third or fourth movie of the Marvel Universe. Ed Norton originally played the Hulk. So oh my, my I, it's like honestly, it was my for a very long time it was my favorite Marvel movie, and everyone's like, "You're fucking crazy." I'm like, "Dude, yeah. it's really good." <laughs> And then uh, he had like a contract dis- disagreements because uh. he's like a little pretentious with with Marvel, and they re- they just recast him with Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's I was so like, I didn't know that. Yeah, but I you guys should go. Re- you should go watch it. It's so good. He, like, okay. Ed Norton's obviously like an Academy Award winning actor, yeah. and yeah. he plays he's like so the same character from Fight Club, but <laughs> as a Hulk, as the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like he plays that kind of intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the, and not, I'm not gonna ruin the ending, but the ending is like was the first moment. Where you realize that the world, is the, like, it was the first moment of Marvel where they like showed you that the worlds were gonna collide. Oh wow! Like, oh, they, cool. this is cool. this is about to be the MCU. And I remember like sitting there and being like, my mind is blown. <laughs> it was so cool. So I, we guys, should, you guys should watch that. Yeah, I gotta it's catch up on my so Marvel. Good. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, so I have like a whole day of just movies. Yeah, nice. That's cool. Are you going to a uh, fashion week? Yeah, in New York. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going with. Are you guys both going? Yeah, I'm right going. On. She's she's fucking coming from Hawaii. Like she goes like the sixth to like what the seventh, yeah, like, you know, le- like the tenth, and then she lands at ten fifty five in L A. and has a flight to New York at one in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it's gonna be a really <laughs> tough day for yeah. me. Yeah, what's in Hawaii? Um, Just I'm vacation. shooting an oh, editorial what? for like Modelies magazine. Wow, that's gonna so be I'm gonna a be fun there w- for three days. Yeah, and then for I free I life. Wow, <laughs> I really wanted to get like I really wanted to go from Hawaii to New York. But uh-huh. I was like. Yeah, it's I just couldn't I couldn't like change my flight so I just booked another one and yeah. then just happened to be like an hour and a half yeah. away. You're just gonna get your stuff and then go. So I'm literally Man. just gonna get my bags and then go back. Uh, have you been to Hawaii before? No, never. No? Really? Oh, okay. What what uh yeah, island are you going to, going to? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Probably Oahu. No Oahu. Honestly, yeah. like I literally just do what island. I'm told. <laughs> like, <laughs> I never ask questions. Like Alana could literally tell me to like <laughs> jump off a cliff and i'd be like yeah, yeah. Okay. all right do, like do what know? time waikiki. i'm so excited oh, there's a restaurant called dukes mm-hmm. on the beach in waikiki you gotta go there i, I went okay. there yeah. it's good yeah oh, he's so, so fun i went there like a long time ago and just surfed the whole time yeah it's amazing especially when waikiki's big yeah it's yeah. Just, like, long and it's just yeah. so long forever wave bro yeah i'll send you the name of this like pokey place that we found okay and it was the best pokey like sushi i've ever had in my entire life no mm-hmm. doubt it You're out of control Hawaii. It was the best. I'm really excited, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I love being in, like, tropical places, and I love the beach, but I am terrified of the ocean. Like, I am terrified of it. I cannot get in, like, past my hips. Like, no? It is so scary to me to, like, yeah. be stepping and not knowing what you're stepping on. That is Waikiki's so terrifying. Chill, yeah, you're fine in Waikiki. Waikiki is, like, the o- one place in Hawaii that you don't have to worry about. Yeah, yeah. it's not like yeah. if you, like, were to go, like, Laguna's fine, but Huntington and Newport, like murky waters. You Huntington like, yeah. is, is bad, actually, yeah, with, with yeah. sharks. A bunch of sharks. And San Clemente. Like, yeah. how are people yeah. just okay with that? It's just, you get, <laughs> so you get pe- people that surf and, like, old, like p- older guys that surf, and they don't give a shit. Like, if there's a, a shark sighting, they're like, ah, whatever, and they'll still be out there surfing and yelling at each other to trying to catch some waves. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah, crazy, they don't yeah. Know, yeah. they don't really care. Yeah, there's always, like, a shark spotting, like, near, like, the Huntington Pier. And yeah, there's the a pier. a bunch of people surfing. All, all the time. Yeah, because yeah. sharks, like, they, they seem, like, scary. But they're actually just, like, kind of, like, just checking you out. And, like. No, yeah, you know, honestly, like, I'm not even that scared of sharks. Uh-huh. Like, I'm just so scared just of like not knowing shit. what I'm stepping yeah. on. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what yeah. if I, like, I don't know. I'm scared like, of sharks. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> or or stingrays. Yeah. Literally, like, exactly. Stingrays like, so suck. scary to me. We went, oh, to, yeah, uh, we went to Mexico for Thanksgiving, and, like, I do not get in the ocean like that like uh. i just don't so he convinces me to go um <laughs> snorkeling, snorkeling <laughs> and we're like <laughs> we like go out. snorkeling and i'm like okay like i'm gonna do it it's fine i'm gonna see some cute fishes whatever and then we get in the water and me him his sister and his sister's friend we all just start like itching like no. our entire bodies are just like itching and like yeah. little stings everywhere and i'm like what the fuck is this like i don't like this yeah. and then like <laughs> We're all, I'm like, Cooper, like, do you not feel that? And he's like, no, like, you guys are crazy. And then two seconds later, he's like, stinging and itching and like, stinging and itching. I honestly don't know what it was, but was we it all like jelly ran out. Yeah, it was jelly, 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 tiny jellyfish. Jelly yeah. I was yeah. like, okay, like, that was oh, that was my one shot. I'm never doing it again. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. It's uh, so scary. But did you know it was jellyfish at the time? Mm-hmm. Like, after? Well, uh, like a little bit after, but I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, what the fuck is yeah, going so on? It's like, tiny, though. 
baby jellyfish. Just like a big school of jellyfish. Probably. There, yeah. something, something like we that. just like, like swam we just, right through just, it. Like, like little red marks and stuff. Like, <laughs> like, this suck. It's annoying. That's gross. Yeah. Um, but you gotta, Hawaii will be fun. You gotta uh, you gotta take her surfing. I know. Oh but, my you know, God. just get like a longboard. <laughs> she would. I have a wave storm in my house. Oh yeah, take a wave storm. Oh, <laughs> like, I don't even know where I would take her. Like, yeah, San right? Ofre or something. You yeah, know? yeah, San Ofre would get be like good. a small little wave. It's like Shoot. San Ofre is like a, like a mellow. I mean, it gets. I'm sure it gets big, but it it's does, like a yeah. like the waves kind of like just roll in and yeah. it's like perfect for like longboarders. And yeah. See, like the thing is, I can't even stand on a skateboard uh-huh. without like eating shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's where that's gonna go south. But you know, I mean, like Enjoy I'll try balance. it. Wait. I'm r- I have really bad ba- balance. Like I have really bad balance. You gotta get one of those bracelets that help you balance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the what? I know. Oh my god. Like, I didn't even know that was a yeah, thing. That? They got discontinued yeah, because yeah, yeah. someone like died wearing. It what? Like, oh, I can balance. Are you serious? Yeah. Something like that. Like, the <laughs> balance bands. I saw, that's what I heard like in middle school. <laughs> I haven't heard about balance bands since like middle school. Remember everyone had them. So yeah, yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys do jet skis a lot growing up? Yeah. Like Wait, like wave riding? runners? What do you mean? Like, 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 in, in oh, like the, on the jet ski? Yeah, I yeah. always wanted to do that. You, you ever been on one? I do, okay, well, I, I did <laughs> one time. On. I had a really bad experience on one. Really? Why? So I was in a, you might know this story, I was in Ibiza, um, and I got invited onto like, uh, the founder of Minecraft's yacht in Ibiza, no. and there was like eight of us on it, and I was so excited, and once I get on there, I realized like, there was a lot of like, alone time on this yacht, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go out, and my, I had a couple friends who were on the boat too, but they were like, Every, it was like this massive boat, like 16 staff, and there was just eight yeah. of us. So I like was like, all right. And I was this is when I was drinking, too. So I was like pretty drunk. And I took – it was my first time on a jet ski. I took the jet ski out into the open ocean or like sea or whatever in Ibiza. And I'm just like doing circles around the boat. And I come in to get another drink. I come in, and I'm like the guy grabs – who's like – his only job on the boat was like to run the jet skis. Like as I'm coming in, he like – grabs the jet ski and, and, and pulls it closer to the boat and then I go out a second time I'm doing it again this time I bring out my phone I'm like fucking videotaping I'm like dude I'm in fucking Ibiza yeah, on I'm a yacht in a jet, yeah. with a jet ski I was like dude I'm living my life and as I start coming in the guy is distracted and I, he, I thought he was about to grab my jet ski but I was like a little fucked up and the jet ski like bounces off the uh, like the rubber thing that it was supposed to attach to and then slams into the side of the boat and all of a sudden, I just like scrapes the side of this like two hundred million dollar yacht, oh <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it's like uh oh. Like, mm. And I look at the guy, and he's like, oh, don't worry, I, like, because he was like, that was my fault, like, I can scuff it out. And I was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> but, like some people saw it happen, and I was like, never spoke about it again. Like, oh I was like, God. but I had in the back of my mind, I was like, I fucking crashed a jet ski into that <laughs> fucking boat. Like, <laughs> and, like, eight, uh, and a month later, I'm I'm like walking down the street, and I'm like looking at my phone, and my friend. Who was all like, who was the one who invited me on the boat? Who's mm. friends with the Minecraft guy? Was like, yo, did you uh, <laughs> crash a jet ski into the boat? Oh. And I was like, uh, I mean, it kind of wasn't my fault, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. God. He goes, cause um, they they just got a bill for for twenty five thousand dollars, <gasps> and like, okay. and he's pretty upset, mm. and like you're gonna have to pay for the damage. And I was like, oh, the guy told me he could scuff it out, but like at the end of the day, like. Yes, I, I, I crashed it, so, like, okay, like, what, and I, I'm, like, what am I going to do? So I'm just, like, sitting oh there, and I, like, I, rem- I remember I was walking, because I start, like, my heart's racing, and I start pacing, and I couldn't even, like, forgot where I was going. I was just, like, couldn't <laughs> breathe. And for, like, 30 <laughs> minutes, I was, like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm, like, how am I going to, like, am I going to call my dad and be, like, dad, I need, like, oh, this is, like, I, like, no. I need $25,000. <laughs> I crashed a fucking jet ski into What happened? A, but did, he, did they make you pay? He calls, and I, I'm also thinking to myself, I'm like, if this guy's really worth two billion dollars, does he really care about twenty five thousand yeah. yeah. dollars? No, like, what this the is scratch even bad. I mean, it was like uh, a scrape, big, but it was big. like you could like fucking buffer it, buff it out, like. Oh God! <laughs> how many like like three lines? Just, yeah, like, like three, three lines. Like three oh, back lines. The boat just starts sinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the iceberg. Oh, yeah, I took it down. So no anyway, way. he um he he texts me. He goes. Yo, uh, I'm here with like Lisa right now, and she yeah. saw you crash in the boat. And we thought it would be a funny prank. Oh. I was like, "What?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, no, we just were fucking with you." And I was like, "Dude, that's so fucked up." And like, <laughs> literally for the next like couple hours too, like I would think about it, my heart would skip. I was like, "Oh my god, I fucking know this twenty five And I was like, "Oh wait, no, it's a joke." But I like couldn't like still to this Your day. I'm, was, I'm still scarred from it. Like every time I see a jet ski, like 
I get that anxious feeling back <laughs> from that moment where I thought I fucking was going to like in my life. Like I was like at that point, I was like everything. I was like, I'm fucking done. Like what am I, I'm going <laughs> to come up with this money. And um, you know, it kind of ruined jet skis for me a little bit, but yeah. I still think they're so cool. They're so fun. And um, I asked him like recently, I was like, by the way, dude, like when you played that prank on me, like would Notch really have made me pay for it if I like, like, yeah, like if it was really twenty five thousand dollars in damage, and he's like, "No, dude, he wouldn't even have noticed." Like, what the fuck do you think? <laughs> yeah, I was bro, like, okay, cool. Dude, <laughs> this wait, was Kyle, two billion <laughs> dollars, <laughs> my friend Kyle. Insane. Your body remembers like that, and you, like yeah, that, you know, you're why like, you're anxious. That's and crazy, that, and that is my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> that is your trauma. Yeah. <laughs> so, not to blow up your spot, <laughs> and I did this yesterday. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> I heard you were a big Vlog Squad fan. Oh my god! Yeah, she is. <laughs> you, I know you told them that. Yes, I was. You were when I was like. Where you are. Oh, it's okay. When I was like growing up and like getting into YouTube before I even started social media, uh-huh. like the Vlog Squad and like Emma, obviously uh-huh. were like just like my two so favorite cool. <laughs> channels to watch. Damn, that's rad. No, yeah, it was so. It was just like. It was so funny, uh, you know? Like, it was, it made my day every oh, time yeah, that I watched it. Did you have a favorite? Favorite what? Like, video. Vlog Squad I'm member? Or <laughs> member. Video, which yeah, one? it was like out of like the million. I was like, I can't, I don't know. To watch, probably Zane. Yeah. Zane. Zane. He's funny as hell. So funny. Zane's funny. Yeah, yeah, so have, you, have you met Zane? No, I've no? never met Zane. You should come hang Damn, out. Damn, yeah. He's so funny. I've never you're met funny Zane. as fuck when yeah. you're drunk. Oh, thanks. You're funny as fuck. I think so too. Like, Every yeah. story I've heard of Zane, because I've like, I don't like, I feel like a lot of people that I know have met Zane. Yeah. And any story I've ever heard of him, he's been drunk. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been drunk. yeah. yeah. And it's just so but. funny. He's hilarious. No, yeah, he's he's and he can dance. He can dance really well. Really. Yeah. Zane can fucking throw. He can cut I, a rug. I've seen him on the pole he's before. So, yeah. And he, yeah. <laughs> and he can sing too. He's, I saw him on Santa Monica at the strip club. He's yeah, dancing he actually. Dancing, he's a little, yeah. little fun. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at those L- Lately, my little sister Danielle over there has been the new female Zane. The two of them are like this dynamic yeah, menace duo. duo. They drink oh. and they and just you know there's no stopping them. Yeah. <laughs> They're just yeah. out of control. Like we, <laughs> we'll go over to his house at like two in the morning. They'll just both be like singing unwritten and dancing on the table together. And we're like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> out of control. Out of control. Yeah, yeah. Funny. yeah that's, that's, that's funny that you mentioned though. Everyone meeting Zane, he's been drunk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so funny. That's so funny. Now he's on this crazy diet and he's he's not drinking. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Three months. Yeah. Like three months. So is it I, like the seventy five day thing? It's like so our, our buddy Ilya, he's. Did this diet with, with his other friend, and he's doing some sort of like I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. It's like you home. like you like don't you can't like drink. You yeah. can't like have like anything like bad food. Like it's like a strict like totally. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's a strict diet. I see a lot of people doing that. Now. I should probably do that because you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old to be drinking. Mm. But. Nah, you're getting to your wine days. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Wine days. <laughs> you really learn to appreciate. Good <laughs> wine. I have been like appreciating wine a lot. So yeah, it's like, um, like parents and stuff like. like 60s so <laughs> yeah. glass of wine right. so every so night, yeah. relax but that's cool that that you yeah grew up yeah well. no i me and my siblings loved watching that's it <laughs> like i was at um i was at one of like i think it was Leroy's birthday uh-huh. remember and like i saw david there and that was the first time i ever saw david now i had a little bit of like a i was like oh my god it's fucking david over and um <laughs> i was like Okay, I'm like, I'm just like, I'm cool. I'm just like, I'm cool, whatever. And then um, I was like, whatever, I'm just going to, like, I was leaving. I think we were all leaving. And, like, he came up to me, and he was like, hey, like, what's up? Like, and I was like, what? <laughs> like what's up? <laughs> I was like, what's up? What's up? That's he was like, right. yeah, like, I, I know you and, like, your boyfriend. Like, how are you? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was That's like, crazy. yeah. Just like, whatever. Like, <laughs> Sabrina, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that was like a full circle moment for yeah. me. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck? Yeah. That was that's, that's pretty cool. fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell him you said hi. I'm like, yeah, it was yeah. really no yeah. big deal. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, it was like. I swear I started like moment. seeing y'all on Vine though. Oh, really? That's, uh, yeah. Damn. Like, I've been on, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I just see like all this, like, I forgot. It was, Vine was so much more funny than TikTok. Oh, yeah, Vine God. was great. Vine was. Top tier like, humor. Yeah. So funny. Vine was. I was uh, like, 
13 like 12 like when just i like when i got vine and uh-huh. stuff and i would see like everyone and stuff and like that's just kind of how i, I found yeah. y'all yeah. that's how i met zane heath and then uh, scott and i were friends from high school yeah we'd do vine make vines and then we met zane heath and david and then jason and everyone yeah. so how long ago was all vine. that what? you never had vine no i didn't have vine i didn't have vine it either. sucks damn, damn it was, it was, yeah. it was no, so funny was just thinking. like the humor and like the yeah. jokes and stuff and like i remember like i i used to watch like king batch a lot uh-huh. of vine yeah oh, like yeah. that was the one like remember and like amanda cerny and yeah it was like 2015 2016 yeah. yeah i swear it was just like it was such a funny era it was you know? but yeah, it has like a special part special place in my heart like, yeah were you guys on musically oh no no musically no i wasn't really into social media growing up like which is so funny because that was my job yeah but like um, I wasn't into it. Like I literally got Instagram when I was in like freshman year, and then I was like, uh-huh. okay, yeah, like, and yeah. I would just like post here and there. But I wasn't in the social media at all. Yeah, didn't have Musically, I didn't have Vine. Like I had like Snapchat and Instagram. Uh-huh. And I was, like, wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah, no. When when Vine got deleted and then like Musically came out, or yeah. whatever, I was like, it's, yeah, not, it's not, not the same. Not it's not the same at all. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't want to see. I was like, I don't want to see motherfuckers lip sync and shit. And now <laughs> yeah. I'm like over here lip sync and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like over here doing oh, that shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. I was like, yeah, fuck musically, like mine, like, uh, like, yeah. But now, I, now I do that stuff, so it's all good. <laughs> we do too. I'm yeah. My own worst enemy. <laughs> That's so oh, funny. God. Well, is there anything else you guys want to add? Yeah, you guys want to, uh, um, <sighs> I mean, hola, anything? Yeah, anything? You're, you just say hello. I guess. Any any Goodbye. plugs? Any plugs? Any plugs? My Instagram. Hey, <laughs> Cooper dot Noriega. There you TikTok. Go. Your TikTok and YouTube Sab channel. Sab Casada for I everything. I don't even care about TikTok. Just for Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thank, these, you, thank you so much for coming here. Yeah, thank you for, for having thank you for being having here. Yeah. By the way, it's just as nerve wracking for us to have people we've never met. Yeah, of course. Sure it is for you guys. So, yeah. like, we really appreciate you doing this. No, and, yeah, no, yeah. This really is awesome. like uh, this is my first like actual podcast. I've nice. Ever been yeah, on. Did you like it? Yeah. Cool. It was really fun. It's honestly like I was like nervous at first, but it's like. It's kind yeah. of therapeutic, right? just sitting right? down and, like, talking. So it's really yeah. not that, yeah, like, so fun. scary. You get to talk about a lot of stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? That's so cool. Um, thank yeah, you, thank for you for sharing. Up. Thank yeah. you both for sharing. Of course. So. Thank of course. You guys. This is the end of the podcast, and we are the good boys. Woo. Thank you for listening. Fucker. Out. Cue the music. Cue the music.